this video we're going to talk about how you can use the video analysis to support your Lean and Kaizen initiatives. So you can see here we have our standard uh, format. By default it's going to come up as a time study here. But if you wanted to deal with a uh, Kaizen or a Lean project, you click on the drop down here. And notice here you've got Lean and Kaizen right here. We've also got 5S and SMED. They basically work exactly the same way. They're all working the same. So if I was to click on the Kaizen, the Continuous Improvement option here, click on it. You can see here what it's doing. It's bringing up these defaults here. And these are indeed defaults uh, that you can add to these. So I could edit these groups here. You can color code them. I can add additional data here. So if I want to do a new one here, and maybe say it was excess walking. All right, and then we just save that. We can give the opportunity to color code it when we do this. So we can click on this. Any of the defaults up here, we let you color code them any way you want. So you might leave the not applicable gray, and you might make these ones green. And I'm just running down quickly through them, the different categories to categorize them here as I do this here. And you can see what it's doing here. All right, and then we do this here. And the next one here, we'll make uh, the uh, this one color here, and the final one we'll make perhaps uh, this color over here. Okay, so we have our selections now, different colors, and we save them here. See, we're done. And now all we have to do to classify each element here. So you might say walk to cage and grasp, right? So we can double click on that, and it's going to play it back for us. That's excess walking. So we can click on the excess walking right here. And it will set that here along with the color code. You can see that right here. If I do excess walking, the collapse cage might be uh, extra transportation. And then the um, push to compress, that could also be uh, over processing. All right, and you can see we're color coding them here. And now walk to cage and grass, so that's the excess walking again. And we can click down, and you can see it's color coding these as we do them here. So now I've color coded my entire process here. And then what I can do is I can close this and I can go to my summary here. And it will summarize it by the individual activities, extra transportation, over processing, excess walking, and excess effort here. And you can see down here it's breaking it out and showing it in various charts for us here. Now once we have this information, of course, we can see it sorted, for instance, by a Pareto chart. If I click on here, it's going to show me the Pareto chart. Excess walking and extra transportation are the two main items I can probably be uh, looking at to improve in this particular process. I can click here and export it to Excel. And here you see the chart out into Excel now if you want to pass it around to other individuals within your organization. So again, the concept is exactly the same, whether it be um, Kaizans or whether it be back over here. Um, whether it be Kaizans or whether it be Lean, 5S or SMED. Classify your different activities available and associate them with the individual tasks that are being performed in the, in the process and then you can summarize it by clicking directly here. Another useful feature that might be of use to you is when you have the summary page up here you can double click on any item and it will show you the actual observations that were included in the time that made up here. As you can see, observations going into the total time shown here. And you can exclude a particular observation if you felt that wasn't representative. And of course, when you take that one out, the value of 5 here, so this value is going to change from 18 down to 13 because we excluded that particular observation. So you can look at any particular values that you think might be skewing your data here. I've only got one observation here. Any observations that might be affecting your answers and showing you where to focus your efforts to maximize the return on the work of the Kaizen and Lean teams.